Hello and welcome everyone. Today I will show you how to make a multi-pick programmer on a PCB. So at first we need some different items. First, copper clad, printed circuit, clothing iron, ferric chloride and also a drill. When you print, uh, don't forget to make this uh, scale 100% because we have to attach uh, the zip socket and the other components. So make this scale 100% and, and if you make this scale 100% the zip socket will properly you can enter in this circuit board. Now uh, cut this paper board and uh, take the cutted paper and uh, mark by a pen and uh, then cut the board with a cutter after cutting you have to clean the board and uh, you can also clean this board with a scrubber ok after scrubbing it looks very glazy now dry it and uh, then uh, grab the image and flat it and position it properly and uh, use a tape to attach this paper on this board now use a close iron if you use steam iron don't use the steam try to set the iron to the maximum you can also set the cotton mood after pressing sometimes and now scrub the iron on the paper just for one minute okay. and uh, now wait for two minutes and uh, take the board uh, inside the water okay and uh, wait for 10 minutes after 10 minutes after 10 minutes uh, remove the paper gently it is better to remove the paper inside the water just scrub don't use your nail When the scrubbing is complete, uh, then look the circuit carefully if any lines are broken or not. Fill the broken lines with a permanent marker. Now you can also write something on this board by this permanent marker. Now the time to dissolve the ferric chloride into the water. It is better to work this process outside the home. Don't use your hand and you can also wear gloves and don't use any metallic item. When it properly dissolves then add this board inside this liquid. And uh, if you shake the tray uh, the copper will dissolve very fast after some time follow the board if it is not properly done then wait for some time and uh, when the copper is properly dissolved then put it and uh, wash the board with water and uh, when it is dry then clean the mm, black spot by thinner you can also use petrol or body spray see it's cleaning
when it's totally clean now the time to drill the board i use a simple uh, drill which is made by a normal motor and it works great let's see and now clean the board once more with the thinner and then use equis paste it will help to catch the solder well and uh, it also minimize the oxidation and now connect the jumpers first and uh, solder it by soldering iron then connect the other items carefully and uh, finally attach the zip socket and the db9 connector and now my multi peak programmer is complete uh, and when you solder please look uh, the connection carefully and check it and the uh, wire can connect unexpectedly anywhere and it can also damage your pc now the time to connect the programmer into the pc and uh, look this step very carefully after attaching when you open this peak softer let's see here i am opening this peak softer when i click the peak programmer then the led will blink okay let's see here the led is blinking if not check the connection once more and if everything is okay then the softer will detect your programmer look here here is written jdm programmer auto detect now the time to connect a peak microcontroller it is better to remove the programmer then connect the microcontroller and uh, below my video i attach a link of a zip file you can get the microcontroller position diagram and the circuit layout everything in this zip file okay okay now connect the the programmer once more okay let's uh, and now click the auto reject pick button and see here my programmer is and here my programmer and the microcontroller is automatically detected and um, now press the browse option and select hex file and click the burn button and let's see programming finished successfully thank you for watching this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and you also subscribe my channel to get this type of tricks